Welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. My name is Kathy Fillion and today I've got five really fun DIYs to share with you. Now they're all using napkin decoupage. I've got these gorgeous Easter napkins here. I love all these spring colors and I'm doing some upcycling and some dollar store crafts. For my upcycling, I'm going to show you how you make these adorable candy jars. I've also got a little domed bunny rabbit here using that recycled jar. I've taken some items from the dollar store and give them a makeover. I found this little bunny there, but I just gave it a little bit of extra kick with that napkin decoupage. And of course, everybody's favorite, the little mini crate from Dollar Tree. Look how cute those turn out. All right, let's dive right in. Oh, I should say these are all super beginner friendly. So if this is your first time doing napkin decoupage, don't worry, I've got you covered. Let's get started with our candy jar gift. This is perfect for jelly beans. I'm just starting with some upcycled jars. I've gone ahead and cleaned them out and I painted the lids with Folk Art Home Decor chalk. I'm adding some Mod Podge to the top of the lid and then I'm going to attach a napkin. This is just the top printed ply of the napkin. So I separated those plies and I'm gonna go ahead and just lay it right on top of the lid and then press with my fingers. Once that's dry, I'm just trimming around the extra and then I'm gonna wrap that napkin around to the inside. Don't worry, this will still seal shut. Go ahead and add a little bit more Mod Podge. And you're gonna let this thoroughly dry. Then go ahead and fill your jar with whatever treats you want. You can do bath bombs, lip glosses, jelly beans, just go ahead and load it up with your gift and then go ahead and add that lid back on. Now on the top of the lid, you can add all sorts of decorations. To this one, I'm going to add this little gold bunny rabbit that I found in the dollar bin at Target. So I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue and then I'm just gonna glue it directly onto the top of the lid. This turns out so cute, a great little budget-friendly Easter gift that you can give. Next, let's do our domed bunny. Look how cute this turns out. I'm using a stand that I got at the dollar store. I chalked it and then I'm painting it with a coordinating color of paint. Now for that lid, I decoupaged it the same way I just showed you and I'm gluing a cork in there just to create a little stand for the rabbit. And then I'm gonna hot glue the rabbit on top of the cork and we'll add a little bit of shred around him just to sort of disguise that cork and give him some organic filler. Now, once this is all tucked in, you're gonna turn that upside down and stick it into your jar. Screw the cap back on. I did have to trim away a few of those grass cuttings, but look how cute this turns out. And once it's on the stand, you just get that beautiful little edging of the napkin showing through. Such a great little detail. Okay, next I wanna show you one of my favorites. These are these very inexpensive plastic eggs. I'm gonna chalk the bottom section of the egg, and then I'm gonna do some napkin decoupage. And for this technique, I'm just using some water on a paintbrush, and I'm painting around the motif, and then I'm tearing it to create a feathered edge. And that's gonna make our napkin blend into that chalk paint seamlessly. So go ahead and use some water around it, tear it out. Then we're gonna add Mod Podge to the egg shape where we painted. And then just go ahead and place your pieces down. Use your finger or the brush to smooth them into position and keep adding them until the whole thing is filled in. Now, once it's dry, you're gonna fill in your egg shape with your chocolate treats and add your dome and a cute ribbon. What a great way to jazz up one of those plastic eggs. Really looks designer now. Okay, I couldn't pass up this bunny shape at the dollar store. These are too cute and they really turn out amazing with a little napkin decoupage. So I'm using the wood crate and I grabbed these bunnies for 99 cents. I love that little loppy ear shape. So I'm gonna just cut away and get rid of the stuff that came on it, but I am keeping it because I'm gonna reuse that. I'm chalking them white. This is the back side, and we wanna use the white chalk so that the colors of the napkin really pop through. I'm adding a little bit of paint to the edge, just a little distress paint. And again, I'm just using that top printed ply of the napkin. So I'm just adding the Mod Podge directly on top of the rabbit shape. And then I'm gonna mist my napkin with a little bit of water. And we're gonna go ahead and place that napkin down, smooth the wrinkles with our fingers and let that dry. 
Once it's dry, you can go in with some light sandpaper or a nail file and sand those edges and the extra bits of the napkin will just dissolve away on that edge. Look how easy this technique is. You get a nice, crisp, clean edge. Now to finish it off, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat with a little bit more of the Mod Podge. This is just a very light coat of Mod Podge. Then I'm gonna use that same paint that I used earlier and just add a little bit of color detail to the edge of the bunny. I just wanna kinda of make a distressed look. And then that stuff that we cut away, we're gonna add that right back to our rabbit. These rabbits are cute on their own, but they're also great as embellishments. For this one, we're gonna glue it to the crate. So to make the crate, I'm using that same Mod Podge and I got this Easter egg themed napkin. Again, it's just the top printed ply. We're doing that same technique, adding our Mod Podge and then placing the napkin down. I'm using the paintbrush to smooth out the napkin and to make sure it's really stuck down to all of those edges. Then I'm just gonna go in and press with my fingers and work the napkin all the way around the crate, trimming here and there where I need it and gluing all of the sides and edges down. Once it's dry, you can add your ribbon detail. For this one, I'm doing a ribbon around the outer edge that wraps around the back and to the sides. I love how this velvet ribbon looks with all of these Easter colors, so pretty. What a beautiful color palette. To finish off the crate, I'm just adding a little hot glue to the back of our rabbit, and then I'm gonna glue it in the center along with that pom-pom tail. You can fill this up with any kind of Easter treat. I use some grass and these gold eggs, so adorable. so much for joining me today guys this is our last easter decor project of the year i've had so much fun doing all of these great projects i hope that you've enjoyed them and i can't wait to see what you make if you make something make sure you use those hashtags mod podge and plaid crafts so that we can see what you're making have a great week